Sir William Douglas of Nithsdale was a Scottish knight and northern crusader. William Douglas was an illegitimate son of Archibald the Grimm, 3rd Earl of Douglas and an unknown mother. A man of apparently dashing bearing, Douglas was with the Franco-Scots army when it unsuccessfully besieged Carlisle Castle in 1385, the defending governor being Lord Clifford. He is recorded as there performing feats of valour and killing many Englishmen. According to Andrew of Wintoun, Douglas certainly had gained his spurs by 1387 when he married Agidia Stuart, Princess of Scotland, a daughter of King Robert II. According to the Liber Pluscarden, Agidia Stuart's beauty was well-renowned. Charles V of France had sent a certain most subtle painter to do her portrait and portray her charms, intending to take her to wife. But the King of France and all other of Agidia's admirers had lost out to the chivalric charms of Douglas. As part of her marriage portion went the lands of Nithsdale in southwestern Scotland, Herbertshire in the county of Stirling and an annuity of £300. Within his first year of marriage the young Nithsdale led a punitive raid against Irish raiders who had been troubling the tenantry of his father's fiefdom of Galloway. In early summer 1388, with a party of 500 well-prepared veteran men-at-arms he sailed into Carlingford Lock, landed outside the town and summoned their leaders. The chief of the townsfolk offered a sum for a temporary truce, to which Nidsdale agreed. Secretly the townsfolk sent off to Dundalk for reinforcements, with which they were obliged. 800 spearmen from Dundalk surprised the Scots camp by night, and were supported by a sortie from Carlingford Town. The Scots, veterans of years of brutal border warfare, drove the Irishmen off, captured the town and burned it, seized the castle and captured 15 ships in the harbour. En route back to Scotland Nithsdale ravaged the Isle of Man. Nithsdale's expeditionary force sailed back into Loch Ryan with enough time to participate in the raiding of northern England that was to culminate in the Battle of Otterburn on 19th of August, in which he fought with distinction. The year after Otterburn a truce was called between Scotland and England. Nithsdale on a nightly quest for glory decided, about 1389, to join the Teutonic Knights, who were fighting the Lithuanians in Baltic region. Nisdale had previously quarrelled with Lord Clifford, a former adversary at Carlisle and whose forbear had claimed Douglasdale under Edward I of England's oppression. While both were abroad, it is alleged that Clifford challenged Nisdale to single combat, and that Douglas even went to France to obtain special armour for the fight. Clifford, however, died on August 18, 1391, but Nisdale is said to have kept their tryst, and whilst walking upon the bridge leading to the main gate at Danzig was killed by the English. The burghers of Danzig decided that upon account of a signal service which the Douglas family did to this city in relieving it in its utmost extremities against the Poles, the Scots were allowed to be free burghers of the town. Subsequently, the stone fascia of the Hoa Thor was adorned with the coat of arms of this nobleman and for centuries it was commonly referred to as the Douglas Port or Douglas Gate, described as such as late as 1734. By Princess Agidia, Nidsdale had two children. Thanks for watching.